Tonight on Nightwatch. They're going hard out there with the fireworks. It's the 4th of July, <laughs> baby, it's America. Oh, Lord, have mercy. There's a lot of people that have drank a few too many. Sometimes that's just fuel for the fire. I got you, baby. We got to get this tourniquet on your hand. The girl's bleeding to death. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Get off of me. All hell's breaking loose. In the city of New Orleans, there are as many as 1,000 emergency calls every night. These are the stories of the heroes who risk their lives to answer those calls. Police officers, firefighters, and emergency medical technicians. This is Nightwatch. The best things about my job are the people that I do it with. I don't think of them as my coworkers or even my teammates. They're my family. If you understand what we do, EMTs, police, fire, they're all my brothers and sisters. And our family watches out for yours. Code 3 with fire in A's at 2247. Adam is 3551. 3551. Code 3 with fire at 2248. You're waiting on code 4 on 201. EMS, what's the emergency? Uh, something fell on the cannon. Uh, 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 a bush hog. Come on. There's a piece of heavy machinery I'm not very familiar with, but I know it's really big and heavy. Fatality is my first thought, and secondly, massive trauma to the body if he is, in fact, still alive. 6215 on scene. 6215, I need to point Standing upright, connected to the tobacco with a chain. Right. And he was working underneath it. Broke How much does that weigh? I don't know, but it ain't like we could barely pick up one half, me and my cousin. I'm very surprised that not only is he alive and moving everything, but he's totally coherent. His pain starts right up in this area, nothing up here. Nothing to the neck. No. So it didn't fall onto his head. It didn't fall on the back. He's got some bruising and abrasions to his torso, and it's very, very tender along his spinal cord. So that's a huge red flag for me. Everything, board collar, everything. We don't want to make the problem any worse if he does, in fact, have uh, some spinal fractures or possible nerve damage, too. So then we're going to try to get you to the stretcher? A movement in the wrong way could, could paralyze him. All right, y'all ready? On three, on Christine's count. Everybody ready? Okay, one, two. Just breathe, just breathe. That's hurting, huh? Let's do all that in the truck. Let's get him up, baby, and get him onto the stretcher and start doing the rest of it in the truck. He could have internal injuries. He could have collapsed lungs, broken ribs. They really need to get to the emergency room so that the surgeons and the doctors know what needs to be done immediately. All right, nice and easy, huh? All right, and he's a big guy. How much you weigh, baby? I'm guessing 240. He's a relatively big husky guy, you know, one of those uh, construction work in husky guys. If it had been anyone smaller, they would have been dead or seriously injured. All right, don't drive out crazy. We're going to take it on a, a slow code three. And honestly, I think that's really what saved his life. Independence to do what you want to do. Look at Justin. 
What's up, man? Hey, look. What's up, baby? Good? I'm with you, baby. Hey, hey, bro, look. Hey, bro, look how you like the, uh, the Mounted Patrol. Cool, like, Sir? Cool. It's the best experience. Look, look. Move. Let everybody, let everybody move out the way. I'm part-time in the Mounted Unit, and anytime there's a holiday or big crowds, you know, I leave the district and I come help out the unit. Dogs. Don't you bite at me? Hey, look, what's the name of your home? Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Oh, Elvis. Elvis. I keep it 100. You don't know who you got riding on you. That's 100% right there. Hey, why you got a host named Elvis? You need somebody like Marvin Gaye or something, man. Why you got, you got Elvis? <laughs> what's going on? What they said? 64. Oh, they got a lot going on. Huh? All right, baby, we'll talk to y'all later. Oh, you boy bugged out of here on that horse, huh? Man, wow! Ball, like, out of the way. Blue, blue, blue. 5240, 3220, 34 in the 6. EMS 3220 is the air clear. 3220 has to go 4. Got back. You're going hard out there with the fireworks. All right, cut that off. All right, Dad, we got a visceration. Lean forward, man. And we go. That's what we learned about. Exit That's back. He has an exit wound, Dad? Yeah. So he's got three wounds. He shot in the arm. They shot in the stomach a couple of times. He was already in a wheelchair. Like, who shoots somebody that's already in a wheelchair? All right, we're going to take care of you, man. Don't even sweat it, all right? Get some IV started. You having trouble breathing? I gotta cut your uh, pants. He's got one to the left forearm, one to the left chest, and one to the posterior left. I'm concerned about internal bleeding. Bullets go in and bounce around, hit a lot of things. So we kind of just want to get into the hospital and get some x-rays done and see what's going on with him. All right, Mark. We're going to hold you down, my man. You saw the guy that shot you? I don't remember. He was in your house or he was outside? He was in your house. They come inside. How long ago you were shot that caused your paralysis? He was a young man then, huh? He got shot as a young man, and here he is 30 years later, right back in the same situation. He'll probably survive this one, too, but it's not an experience most people want to have more than once. 32 toilet hospital. Now, we're going to get you fixed up and hold you down, man. We had a ride to Apollo on Bourbon Street. Somebody stabbed. It's the 4th of July weekend. Brings a lot of people into town. A lot of drinking, a lot of partying. Sometimes that's just fuel for the fire. 32, 34, they call for our second unit. I hear a call for another unit, meaning that there was a second patient. So I'm thinking, all right, well, this is going to be pretty real because we got two people staffed. It's an unknown age person that was assaulted. Per an OPD person they, they bleeding the person profusely, profusely in the room. And they went off the fight. When you want us to start heading that way? Jackson. Where's the other person? No, they're trying to find him. I'm behind and I don't know if my friend's okay or not. Two women have apparently gotten into a bar fight. I walk up to the first patient I see and start assessing her injuries while the other unit starts looking for the second patient. So where's it at? Right on top of the she, she had a small cut right on the top of the knuckle. And that's it? That's it. She got a little contusion on top of her head as well. Uh, right here, Ben. Hello. Hey. That's all she's got. She got attacked with the bottle. She's got hematoma on her head. I didn't see any of the lacerations um, or cuts. Almost. My toothbrush chip, yep. Does this hurt? Yeah. Um, yeah, all of it hurts. So actually. she's got a couple hematomas in the back of her head right here. No blood. So it was a bottle? Um, yeah, she grabbed me from behind, and I didn't know what it was, and she just started beating okay. the out of me. I need a stitch or two. Yep. The first right. patient just has a little bump on her head. Looks like she might need a few stitches in the finger. At that point, I go over to the other unit, and they're getting their patient onto the stretcher. She's bleeding big time. Oh, yeah, she is. I can see the blood literally just running out of the bandages that the people had put on it. Hold up, baby. 
Hold on to it. I got you, baby. We got to get this tourniquet on your hand. We knew it was an arterial bleed. The cut was all the way to the bone. <laughs> the girl's bleeding to death. Literally, she's bleeding to death. It's going to be tight, baby. take you to the hospital. You can call your parents from there, OK? Nick, Holly, and I respond to Bourbon Street, where two women have apparently gotten into a bar fight. Baby, listen, you are, you're going to bleed to death. I need to get this tourniquet on. I'm sorry it hurts. The first patient was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, while the second patient was in pretty bad shape. The cut was all the way to the bone, so her arm was just kind of dangling. You got this? The biggest concern is that she's going to bleed out. And that's why we had to put that cat tourniquet on her. It's going to be tight, babe. It's going to be tight. tight. They're very, very painful. The tighter you go, the more painful they get. I know, baby. I know. You good, Keely? Yep. We need to get you where they got surgery. She had lost a massive amount of blood. She had that grayish tint to her. Just up front, up front. Her blood pressure was super low. It was like 60 pal. She was tachycardic. She was definitely in shock. Good. You can wiggle your fingers, baby. A little bit. Tourniquet save the light. That's what those tourniquets do. She got a big time arterial bleed about cutting her arm, her arms about cut off. I don't know what she cut her with, a bottle? I don't know if it's a box cutter or a knife. I had enough blood that I had to change my uniform. I don't think I've ever had that much blood on me. It was it was ridiculous. need an 18-wheel. We're not sure if people are trapped tonight. Rescue, fire, ambulance, all going that way right now. The 4th of July brings lots of folks to the city. Someone from administration always has to be out on these busy weekends like that. It's all hands on deck. 20 hours on the scene. We roll up and see this car, and it's mangled behind the 18-wheeler. Too. No one's trapped. He's, he's having a problem with his leg. Here's the EMS right behind us. Luckily, no one was trapped. And that person actually exited the vehicle, and you can tell he's in pretty bad shape. Forty's on scene. Copy. He ran into you, or you, uh... Some other lady hit me, man. I don't know where she went. She was over there, man. She took off. I don't know how she got off the vehicle. I guess she didn't want to be involved. You hurting in your head, your neck, or your back anywhere? Yeah. Your neck is? OK. How many patients we got right now? All right. Drive out a truck. You want to go to hospital? All right. 6240. We're loading one patient at this time. Once EMS arrives, our next focus is to secure the scene. Brian, you got the battery? I'm trying. We cut the battery from the truck. That way, it can't give off no spark and do like any of the fluids, gasoline, whatever was leaking underneath there. We're going to need another bucket of sand. No, yeah, no, it's still rolling out over here. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch over here. It's still leaking. You know, I start laying the sand down to soak up all the fluids. Yeah, what kind of chemical is that? Cleaning chemicals. That truck is empty. I just got done unloading. Oh, okay. 62 party. The tank is empty. Fire secure in the car. That guy was lucky with this kind of wreckage. From what I understand, that 18 wheeler was at a dead stop when he ran to the back of him. There wasn't much of a skid mark before that, so yeah, he was lucky. All right, Ken. All right, guys, thank y'all. All right, man, I think EMS is out of here, man. work every holiday. That's terrible. Every holiday. Another cannon. It's extremely busy in the 6th District during holidays, so we always want to roll with two units. 1670. Can you search address for me, please? Stroll around. Nothing bad not happen. <laughs> you know what I always do. We get dispatched to a block known for drug activity, and there was a shooting there the night before. 
We gonna miss the dog now, right there. Hey, look, he ran. He ran. <laughs> he ran around. See if he come out this side. Two guys ran the minute they saw a patrol car, which is suspicious. Good dog. Just let me out. The suspects were scattered in all different directions. Devin and I split up so we could cover more area while other units set up a perimeter. No, I'm hiding in the bushes over here just in case he run out this side. I'm in the middle of the block for that. I'm on Jackson. I don't see anything right now. I know. That's what made me still think he would still be back there because the dogs haven't stopped. I mean, once they hit the fence, Ashmo let me out and went to Jackson, so I don't think they got off the block. It's a dozen different houses to hide under. Got to drop one. Oh, that's it. 357. 16, 17. Drop that item to okay. Wait, wait, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Oh, What's up, man? Uh, I lost my glasses. So we finished the call at the hospital, and Titus is freaking out because he can't find his glasses. I remember taking them off. I do not remember trying to put them in my pocket, and he must have fell out. If it's really muggy outside, if I'm in a cool ambulance, once I open the door, that Louisiana heat steams hit it and it fogs them up, and I hate that. You want me to drive over there? Yeah, do that. That'd probably be a better idea, actually. So we make it there. Right. And Dan was like, oh, Lord, because you know he don't like to drive too much. Well, you get you used to sitting in that seat over there. It's a different world on the passenger side of the truck. You don't have all that steering wheel and stuff. You got a lot of breathing room. Hey, don't go messing up my ass groove, neither. Oh, God, Lee. Like we in. Fifth grade, and you lost your glasses, and we trying to not let your mama find out. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I jumped into the patrol vehicle to try to block off the street, where one of the suspects was seen running, while the other units continued on foot. Right here, right here. <laughs> Between the houses, right there. Put your hands up in the air. Yeah, yeah. Right where you are. Yeah, you understand? There's a guy with the uh, blue jean shorts and the white white jeans. You went there now. This guy right here. Yeah. Don't move, bro. Second suspect in custody. 3232, Melissa being about liberty. Gonna be for a just being relaxed to the arm after a chase. 32, 32 in a row. Mm. 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 Don't run from the popos. All right, that's enough of this for the night, man. There's a bed in the mug already. There you go. 32, 32. Oh, look at what just breezed in the door. <laughs> Hi, lovely. What's up? Hi. What's up, man? How you been, bro? What yeah, happened? Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. He just got a few abrasions and stuff. We can clean it up for y'all if y'all want, bandage it up. On his stomach, too. Oh, that's just superficial scratches. What you doing? Chasing people? No, nah, I'm trying to get away from all that chasing. I said, man, I see my limp in now. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm beat. I'm beat down. Right Can there, we uncuff him for like one second? You know, I go run, huh? Uh-uh. You not gonna go jump it out? I ain't gonna do none of that. Oh, I climbed the fence. All right. Why you ran? Because I was smoking weed. And That's I was it? At the wrong place at the wrong time. You were smoking weed. It's not illegal to smoke weed. Don't listen to her. No, leave You just, it ain't, it ain't worth running, though. That's for sure. No, you shouldn't have ran. All right, you're all right, baby. That'll heal. Just put some ears porn and stuff on it. That's it. Good to go. You free. Well, he, he good to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's good. Why is he getting arrested? Just from running for you? Running from us with a gun. Oh, oh he, had a he gun? left out the gun part. He left out the gun part. He just told us he was smoking weed and he got scared. That's why they initially ran. We, we, we go around there all the time. Every time we hit the block, yeah. they. Right. Today they got caught. Going down the car collision in the intersection, they saying. Not sure exactly what's going on out there. We're gonna back up the ambulance on this call. 
6240 is on scene. Hello, guys. What's going on? Okay. You were driving, babe? Yeah. Okay. You didn't lose consciousness, huh? You been awake all the while? Yeah. Any trouble breathing? Oh. Where you got pain at? Oh. Where it's at, right here? Yeah. Might have a clavicle fracture up here. Collarbone might have been fractured. She was also complaining of a lot of pain in her ear. Her airbag had deployed. Those things go off, they pretty loud. Okay. She knew person, place, time, and thing. Oh. You could have significant hidden injuries when you have a motor vehicle collision. So we were taking every precaution. Let me take a look in your ear right there, see what's going on in your ear. It's like hell. OK. Oh. I'm going to put you in a little sling now, OK? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my ear. OK. Oh, my goodness. When we started our patient care, when all of a sudden a male stepped in the side door of the ambulance and identified himself as her son, yeah, yep. You ain't supposed to be going nowhere, man. You ain't supposed to be going nowhere. It's okay. It's all right. But you ain't supposed to be going nowhere. All right, hey, listen, look, look. Try not to get our blood pressure up, okay? You don't tell me nothing about my mother man. Get out, get out there. I don't have to go nowhere, Get out. I don't have to go nowhere, EPD, EPD. All of a sudden, this guy, the patient's son, just lost it. Step out the way. Fire need your help. Get out of the truck. Get out of the truck. Get out. Step out the way. Step out. Fire need your help. Get out of the truck. Get out of the truck. Get off of him. Get off the street. Someone hit their emergency button. Get out of the truck. Get off him. Immediate response is fear. Are my coworkers okay? Is my family okay? Because if somebody hits that button, all hell's breaking loose. We responded to a motor vehicle collision with two elderly ladies. We were treating him and everything was going good when all of a sudden her son entered the truck, was yelling at her and cussing her and her pushing match started and the next thing you know, we had our hands full. Him? Him trying to me, man. All right, PD's here. Call for. All right, it's called for. They said, who was that? That was Bouvier. Officer, I'm the deputy chief for EMS and I want that man booked for assault on the EMT. Man, he put his hand on me first. My mom and everybody. I asked you to step out of the unit. You failed to do so. Man, me once the gentleman had been escorted from the scene, we saw the patients we had to go take care of. You all right? We get back in the truck, and I was feeling a lot of pain in my shoulder. And my left hand was numb at the time. All right. We were kind of tussling a little bit. He swings me around, and there's a parked truck there. And I hit the truck with my shoulder. And as soon as I hit it, I felt the pain. I knew it was immediate pain. 6240, I got an injured employee. I need another truck out here. 3232, show us on scene. We pull up on scene. Half the police are there, half the fire department fleet is there, and half the EMS fleet is there. We are all there. Where's the crew? Right What's here. going on? The guy grabbed him and bounced him up against the car right here. Yeah, He's right? He's complaining all his shoulder and all right here. I'm just going to put this as a precaution. Right. Where's the guy? He's uh, secure. He's got him in custody. OK, good. Right. So we taking Ted? Yeah, you're going to take Ted. You ready, Ted? Yeah. Immediately, I don't even care about the details of what happened. We need to make sure that our family member is okay. All right, Ted. Don't punch me. You got a little mark right there. This clavicle is still fine. It's feels symmetrical. He just hurts like a son. Man, just you got a little nerve issue going on. You got um, any tingling in now? your hand? A little bit. OK. All right, his shoulder didn't appear to be dislocated. Doesn't mean it couldn't have been fractured. He was having a lot of pain. For him, it's going to be all about x-rays. You ready? Sure. Too late? Yep. All right, let's go. Is that Theodore? <laughs> it's wild. You know, when you go to something to help someone and you get attacked, I mean, we're the good guys. We're the guys that are supposed to be around to help everyone else, you know? So when we're taken out of the picture, that's a problem. Ted, he's a good employee. Tried to keep us cool. The guy just wanted to wanted to be uh, loud and fight. So, uh, you know, hopefully Ted will make out OK. And uh, I'm getting too old for this kind of stuff. <laughs>
3220. Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office requesting EMS for a male laceration to the foot. What do you think is the dude in the scrubs right there, sitting right there in the corner? He uh, walked up to me, said he was bleeding, said he's been trying to get help. He just got a laceration. What's up, man? I cannot walk anymore. All right. You saw one of the best doctors in the city just about 12, 12 hours ago. This gentleman, he's already wearing a hospital ban. Apparently, he had just been discharged, but I guess he felt his problem wasn't resolved. Where do you live? On the street. OK. Well, you got to keep weight off of You want to go back to the hospital? Take me anywhere. He has a legitimate medical problem, so you know we want to get him in the truck and kind of clean it and assess and see how bad it is. Uh, let me clean it up. How's it look? Pretty bad. He's got this massive sore on the bottom of his foot. I mean, it looks like a sore you would get, or like a blood blister you would get, but on, like, monumental scale. I mean, it had to be painful to walk on. Yeah, you've been walking too much, it looks like. Oh, oh yeah. Look looks pretty nice. Oh, just going to clean it a little bit. Usually, with that type of wound, there's new skin underneath it, but it has to be cut and drained to allow that new skin to take over. Man, look, if you don't get that foot clean, you're going to lose. Really bad wounds can become gangrenous. Um, gangrene is just a very advanced uh, decomposition of, of a wound. You ought to buy you a pair of shoes. I was wearing the, the 300 shoes, mm -hmm. and they do me that. A $300 pair of shoes. You did that? Yes. That's why you got to buy the cheap shoes. That's what I wear. They're like the $9.99 specials. He's homeless. But they'll do a social services consult with him at the hospital and see if they can get him somewhere temporarily to allow himself to heal. I got I need, I need to see the doctor. Thank you for the work you do. Oh, thank you, man. You Appreciate it. Tough Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. The unique thing about Ninja 29 is its location. Oh, thank you. What's bigger? It's in the middle of the French Quarter. For a good cause, not for us. People are always walking up to the firehouse, want to chat with us, take pictures with us. Good. All you right. say it's your anniversary and your husband's sleeping? Oh, that's that's terrible. Terrible. That's why I'm going to show my picture to people. It's a good time. We enjoy it. We're people, people. I'm going to be 20. Oh, awesome. Thank First. you. got on scene, uh, they had other companies there already, and they found that they didn't have any fire on the first floor in any of the stores. It was our turn to make entry, so we went to the second floor. Yeah. <coughs> We're going to need a line up here. <coughs> 29 or 502. We got a lot of smoke upstairs. We're going to need a line. <coughs> We knew we had something serious that we had to get to because, I mean, it, it can get into the attic pretty quick and get away from us. Could be an A of these, huh? Can you feel that Can you feel anything? Nope. Knocking all doors? Yeah. We started kicking down doors, checking bedrooms, beds, closets, everything, just looking for people and try to locate the fire. Chief, no one's in here. The building's vacant. Just for a couple that. I don't see anything. Nothing's hot. Yeah, it's coming out of the front. Yeah. Look, you see how it's coming out of that light fixture right there? Right here. It's gotta be. You got a pipe pole? It's on the box. All right. Chief, we have having trouble locating fire underneath the pit's pit flat roof. We might have to get a crew on the roof and see if we can get to it from that way. It starts getting hotter in there, and the smoke starts coming down further. We're pulling ceiling, trying to find it. While we were doing that, Ladder 8 was getting set up to get on the roof. Hey, hey, pipe over here. 
Lloyd, you see it right there, Keith? Right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, open that up. Hey, 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 They got it. Once they found a seat of fire, they started putting water on it and knocked it down pretty quick. They got buckets and shit like they were towing the roof or patching it or something. Huh? Oh, good. 29 to command. I just scanned the camera again. I don't see anything. They had foam insulation in the ceiling, which was lucky, because they kind of helped the fire from spreading quickly. Overall, it was a good night. We knocked the fire out quick, and nobody got hurt. 29, back in service. Saddle service and medical is up. Man, those are my favorite right there. <laughs> One of them things <laughs> come in my window. Sixteen seventy eight. We got a call of a guy getting his bike stolen not far from where we were patrolling. We meet up with uh, another patrol unit who's standing near the victim. Something happened. He thinks he went towards like General Taylor, down General Taylor to St. Charles. Is that gonna be it right in front of you? Is it right there? After we talked to the victim, instantly he was right across the street. Oh, God. I'm not about to be chasing this little guy in the street like this, bro. As weird as it is chasing this kid, he stole a bike, it's still a crime. He has to be held accountable for his actions. Get off the bike. Get off. Stop the bike. Stop it. Stop it right now. The guy just looking at Randy like, you, like, you know? You hear what I said? I'm going to tase you. If you don't stop that bike, you stop the bike. I wasn't actually going to tase him, but most people stop when they hear the word tase. Uh, he start pedaling harder. Oh you, oh, you think it's a game? You think it's a game? Get down. Get down. Get down. Why Why you not listening, man? I didn't listen. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. How old are you? 15. Where you get the bike from? The man, let me ride it. <laughs> why, why you didn't bring it back to him? I was, that's where I was going. But you went the other way. Stand up. Why oh, you couldn't just pop your firecrackers and celebrate like everybody else, bro? Very patriotic, though. Y'all saw us, you, you just, you took off. Lance Armstrong. I know you don't want to listen to him, but he telling you right, bro. You snatched the wrong person bike out here. You know some of the consequences that happen out here, huh? He is at a, a crucial age where he can tip to one side or the other. It's almost like a gateway. You know, you're stealing bikes today, you're stealing cars or motorcycles or something else tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, officer. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. Y'all had right, no problem. Y'all bro. That's why I needed it. I think he needed to hear that guy, you know, just chew him out, you know, just be a little voice in the ear, I guess. I almost was rooting for him. <laughs> so maybe he'd be, he be the one to get away, you know? It's like, what, 93? <laughs> <laughs> Flew over another vehicle. Not good. No, it's like these people get out of this bar and they walk straight into the street trying to hail a cab, yeah. not thinking about what's going to happen to them. People fly down the street. Yeah. 3232 32 shows in the area. Oh. oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't remember seeing you with them in the house because I know a lot of times, like, you do exactly what you're doing right now. You take them off, you wipe your face, and you put it right back on. I probably was so busy looking at the grass, they might have just fell right down the street. Just hope nobody stepped on them. I felt like I lost a part of me. Like, I feel naked without my glasses. 
Which way did we go? Dude, you stopped right on the side of the truck. It was like right in this area. Didn't he have a car right here? We went in right there. We grabbed the stretcher. We walked up right here. Oh, found it. Ah, what they were. That we talking about, baby. Not even crushed. It's like touchdown, sanks, you uh, know, extra point good. It's like we're going back to the Super Bowl. Good job. I'm back. I'm back. Let me open the door for your seat. I'm back. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dan, for you man, man. Oh, right. Hey, man, let's go do some calls. I'm running now, man. Thirty-two, thirty, in the area. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We come up. There's a guy laying on the ground. He's Hello. bleeding. There's a car that has obviously struck him. He ran across the street in front of the vehicle. The vehicle didn't hit the brakes until she hit him. Hi. What's your name? Marco. Marco? Yeah. Where are you hurting at, buddy? I'm all right. I had a chip in my head in the ground, and I have blood in my, in my arm, and everything else is all right. OK. You can move your feet? Do you remember everything? Yeah, he remembers everything. You didn't get knocked out, huh? Oh, sweet. All right. Hey, buddy, I'm going to put this collar on you, OK? All right. Hey, OK, I'm straight. Excuse me. It's chaotic, because there's a lot of people that have drank a few too many, so they're not using their best judgment. OK. Step fine. back, Lou. That's fine. Just step back and let us take okay. care of him step first, back. okay? You got to take care of all these things, but you obviously the first and foremost is to make sure how this guy's doing. Marco, yeah. the only place you're hurting is your head, baby? Yeah. You know what city you're in? Yeah, no, yeah. Perfect. I'm just trying to see where all this blood's coming from. Make sure it's it's from your head. You got a little cut on your, on your elbow, too. During our assessment on this guy, all I could find is a small laceration of the back of the head. I mean, he is talking to me. He is normal. No broken bones. All right, buddy, you're going to feel a little pinch in your arm right here, OK? Don't move. One, two, three. Did you jump right before the car hit you? Yeah, I tried. OK. Because I was wondering, most of the time when you have it, you have a lot of leg injuries and that kind of thing. But you're doing pretty well, sir. First thing to say, this dude is the fact that he was not drunk. He saw the thing coming, so his natural instinct was the right thing, which was to jump kind of at the last second. It's really, really lucky. 32, 32, I'm out to Toro, one patient. I hope if I ever get hit by a car, that I get hit by a car just like you did. Always remember to jump right before you hit. Good to go. That's right. Welcome to being the luckiest person in New Orleans tonight. Dude, I'm letting you know. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. <laughs> letting you know what? Nick, you look nervous. Dude, you can trust me, bro. There you go, my man. Hey, look, the difference. Make a wish, don't I? Make yep. a wish. Whatever you want. All right. <laughs> Good job. Okay. All right, man. All right, here. Ready, ready, one. This one. one. No. Eight. No, you have to put it on. You had, I spent my hard earned money on that. Dude, that was nice, man. Oh, look, look, look. I thought y'all screwed with me, man. I thought y'all <laughs> screwed with me. <laughs> Why y'all gotta hold it so high? I can't even see the damn thing. Hey, how big you so short? Hey, yo, yo, yo. I know how we got as big a toe. I'm a big fat bastard. I got a fat kid loving cake yeah, over right, here. You know that. Yo, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, bro. Happy it's birthday. Tonight, watch. Thank you, right. 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 Again, why we got to be all the way up here? <laughs> I feel oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Who did this? Titus, you did that? Right. Look at that bite, dude. Damn. I know it's your birthday. You know, we're celebrating it. You've been my partner for years to come. I've been knowing Holly for years. And Nick, I wouldn't say, do I love you? And like continue, we're gonna work these streets together. I appreciate that. And we're that. just gonna be in the hunt, man. There's no other person I want to be in this battle with. Is you, bro? Aww. Hey, I love you, man. I'm tearing up a little bit on that one. Right. Y'all are so cute. That's my, that's my dog. So cute. Right, oh, oh. That's how they. Look, like, now we're gonna throw her on top. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, whoa. Titus, come, come on, man. What a cake. We're gonna, we gonna right, dust you know, on the cake. Get the cake. I got his. Get oh. uh, oh. the cake. Get the cake. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. She's got my glasses. Right. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? There's a reason no one works alone on the Night Watch. Oh, hey, a reason they have a partner or a precinct or a firehouse 
that they belong to. Come here. All Just right. I get I get <laughs> And the reason is because we need each other. You want to take your glasses off? You want to hit the man with the glasses. You want to take the glasses off? You want to hit it? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> we need the support. We need the backup. We need the family. And that's what we are. Family. <laughs>